friends, it's Miss Lexi here. I'm back and today I have hermit crabs. So these are actually my sister's hermit crabs. She got them when she was in college in Florida. She missed our pets at home, so she wanted to get a pet of her own. So something different about regular crabs and hermit crabs. What's one thing that you see that's different? Take a second to think about it before I say it. I'm gonna look to see to make sure that I have it right too. I think I got it, do you? It's that they have a shell that's different from the other ones. The animal that also has a shell like this is a snail. So as hermit crabs get bigger, they need to get a bigger shell too. So as they get older, they have to find a new shell, wherever that is. So sometimes they get a shell, a shell that fits just right, or they find one that's a little big, but they have to still carry it around. So it has to fit a little bit. I didn't think this one was gonna come out. This guy's name is Wormy because he's a worm on his back. And his name is Crabby, because he's a crab. <laughs> and my sister has another one. His name is Hermy, because he's a hermit crab. Um, but he's doing something called molting. And that is when a hermit crab is losing a layer of their skin to get a new bright colorful one. Another animal that does this is a snake. And, but one gross thing that they do is they actually eat it because there's a lot of vitamins in there that can make them be healthy, but it's sort of icky. So another really cool fact about hermit crabs is you'd think that since they're little, they don't probably live a long time, right? They actually live 12 to 70 years. Can you believe that? <clears throat> That's such a long time. That can be almost as long as we live. That's crazy. But another cool thing about them is that they're social animals. That means that they like to live with other animals, whether it's hermit crabs or something else, they love to live together because they don't wanna be lonely. So if you were to ever get a hermit crab, you have to have at least two or three, otherwise they get really, really sad. So hermit crabs, they might be a little scary where you don't wanna pick them up, right? But you can actually pick them up. At first, I was a little nervous, but now I'm not anymore because I just know to be careful with them. You have to be quiet and very patient and just let them walk around. And see, that's what he's doing. He's investigating. Because how would you feel if something really big picked you up and put you in its hand? You would be pretty scared too, right? So sometimes he just holds on to my finger or holds on to my hand. And I used to think that was him trying to hurt me, but it wasn't, he was just holding on because he was scared. So we're gonna let him run around for a little bit. It's sort of cool to see him walk, right? So as he's running away, he's probably gonna go try to hide under this towel because hermit crabs love to hide, just like Hedgie, because they're very small animals. They like to feel safe. Oh, is Wormy gonna move too? Oh, I think he's going. Oh, I think you got scared. So in their tank that they have here, they have a really nice house that they can hide under so they feel safe. And that's really important for them to have because otherwise, how are they gonna feel safe in their home? And we all wanna feel safe in our home, right? So just like Hedgie, hermit crabs have to live in a certain temperature. And you wouldn't think that they have to because they're crabs, they can probably stay warm but they have to say between 70 and 75 degrees, which is pretty warm, just like the summer. But if not, I'm gonna have to call the vet and I'm gonna be in trouble because they're gonna be shivering really bad. And another important thing about where they live is that it has to be sort of wet in the air, which that's called moist. And if not, they can't really breathe very well. So my sister has to go into the tank and spray it with water 10 times a day. Isn't that crazy? But if she doesn't spray it, she can also use something called a humidifier, which sprays water into the air. And right now that's what they have. So that way they are always getting water in the air for them. So they drink fresh water, which is water that me and you drink. It has nothing in it, but they love to play in salt water, which is water like that's in the ocean. It just has salt in it. Might have some other stuff in it too, but we don't drink that. That is achy. So in their tank, they have 
one of each. They have two different bowls and they know which one is. <laughs> They're both running away. <laughs> they, have, they have both. So that way they can play and they can drink. So for about what they eat, what do you think a crab eats? Take a second to think about it. Hermit crabs are something called scavengers. That means they eat anything that they can find. They can eat little things of meat on the floor. Not our floor, of course, if they were on the beach. Um, they would eat vegetables, just anything that they can get their hands on because they're not gonna be going out and getting an animal and eating it. That's not what they would do. They're too little. But these hermit crabs, they're still very little and they're still getting used to things. They're not a huge fan of vegetables yet. Sometimes they'll eat lettuce, but they have pellets that are, have little veggies in them. So they like that more. So these hermit crabs, if they were to live in the wild, they live in warm water all around the world, but they do have to live close to the land because where the land and water meets, there are little pockets of water and that's where they would live because they can't live all in the water. That's not where they'd like to live. They have to live in both because they would drown if they were in just the water and we don't want that, right? So these hermit crabs, they're pretty small, right? Some can get up to be six inches, which is just about this big, maybe this big. But one can be as big as a coconut, which is that big. That's almost as big as my head. How crazy is that? Another cool thing about these little guys is that they're nocturnal animals. And if you remember from yesterday, that means that they like to sleep during the day and be awake during the night. So during the night, they like to wake up and they have something cool to climb on in their cage. And they like to eat their food, play in their salt water and drink their water. These hermit crabs are really cool. I'm gonna pick him up and I'm gonna show you him a little bit closer so you can observe him. Let's see if he'll come out for us. Sometimes he gets a little scared. Do you see his eyes? Point to them if you can see them. And now I want you to see if you can count how many legs he has. Can you do that? It's a little tricky. And can you point to his big claw? Where is it? Did you find it? I found it. See, that is what they could pinch you with, but Krabby, he's a nice guy. He wouldn't do that. So friends, I hope you enjoyed my video on hermit crabs. And I know the hermit crabs were super excited to come see you and meet you. So whoop, <laughs> just fell. So say bye friends, bye. This is a map showing where hermit crabs live all around the world. This is a hermit crab without its shell. Isn't that cool? This is all different kinds of hermit crabs. And this is where hermit crabs are supposed to live in your home.